Okay, um, welcome to the latest round of uh, work for the ArcLight work cycle. Um, the team has been hard at work this week, pulling in several features as well as fixing up or improving some existing features that we've demoed previously. Uh, one of the first things that I would like to show is an improved search results display. So as you can see here, we've done a couple of things. Uh, not only have we updated the layout of the search results uh, so that it's kind of uh, less of a typical black light uh, search results display and much more customized uh, for ArcLight. You can see some of the items down here don't have a lot of metadata, but these two collection records, um, which do have a bunch of metadata, uh, you can see we have the creator, um, we have the, uh, the extent, as well as the, uh, the abstract or summary of the collection. And we've also included uh, some context up in this top bar here, um, like the, uh, the, the uh, repository collection number, um, things like that. So um, we've been working on that, uh, moving stuff around the search results and kind of iterating on this. Um, and as you can see, we've also uh, styled the search results a bit to give them a little bit more uh, distinct uh, from one another. Um, we've also added some additional uh, facets here. So I'll talk a little bit more about that, but you'll, you probably will notice that uh, some of the faceting, particularly around subjects, uh, has changed. Um, one thing I'd like to jump into one of the collections to show, um, we've done a lot of work on the collection page this week. Uh, one of the things uh, you'll see is the sidebar has uh, changed pretty dramatically. Um, we now have a this scroll spy um, UI on the left-hand side. So as I scroll down uh, to the different sections, you'll notice that the sections that uh, I'm viewing are updated in the navigation overview. Um, in addition to that, we also have at the bottom um, a, a terms and conditions and how to cite this collection. Um, this is like an accordion section, and we can add more uh, more sections to this um, with headings and then various pieces of metadata. Um, at the top of the search bar, you'll see that we had here um, that we do have a search within this collection. Um, and then what this allows us to, to really easily do, I didn't put a search term in there because I can't think of one off the top of my head, but this jumps us into a, a search for any term that we supply uh, limited to the uh, contents of this particular collection itself. Um, so if, presumably if I would type into something like uh, records, well, we, we, we might not have our text search exactly hooked up, but that, that's just how our search is configured on the, uh, on the demo application. Um, one of, that's one of the things that we've touched a little bit this week, but we plan on getting more into is uh, the actual, um, actually configuring uh, the search results uh, to be able to have text-based search and things like that. It's something we haven't been focusing um, too much on so far. Uh, but the idea here basically is that it will limit uh, you to the collection that you're in right there. Um, the uh, something else that is uh, good to show here and uh, what I mentioned about on the search results uh, is you can see that we've started linking values in the search results um, to uh, sorry, linking values in the record view to their search results. Uh, so we've actually taken the various subjects in the EAD and broken them out uh, into uh, a couple of different sections here. And then all of these um, will link back uh, to that particular facet in the search results. So um, as I mentioned before, the, our subject facets have been broken out a bit more granularly into separate facets as opposed to um, combined all into one all subjects facet. Another thing to point out on the record view, um, we added an online content label here to indicate that any time um, a digital object is described in the collection itself, so anywhere in the collection, if there is um, online content, uh, we'll, we index that information, provide this label. Uh, and as you can see for, say, this collection, um, it doesn't have any online content. Um, it did not receive any online content label. Um, and we'll be doing more with that in the future. One of the last things that I would like to show today is um, an initial pass at uh, displaying at least the top level of the hierarchy in a uh, from a collection. So as you can see, we have a uh, contents tab here next to the overview tab. 
Um, and when I click that, uh, I'm actually going, it's, it's going and making a query in the back end to get um, just the next level of hierarchy from the EAD. Um, so this is kind of a content inventory view. Uh, if these particular things had uh, metadata, they would display here, but for the, da the data that we're dealing with right now, um, these, these uh, particular series don't have any other metadata associated with them other than the, uh, the title and the date there. Uh, but that would display, uh, and in future iterations, we'll work on being able to navigate through different parts of the hierarchy. But for now, the idea is you can get to here. Uh, and then when we start building out the components page, you'd be able to start navigating down through the hierarchy of your, um, of your EAD. I think that that's all that we have to show for this week. Uh, we should have plenty more uh, in the next video.